in a stop lasting 33 seconds, the lead was lost and Steve Hislop went down into second place. Foggett is already at Bagaro, 12 miles up the road and in the pits, Joey Dunlop retires, all chances of a record win gone. Phil McCallan definitely out now. I believe I came into the pits, we checked, I told the boys what was wrong. We, we were hoping sometimes that you know, if there's, little, if there's plenty of wind and there's little water there, we can get enough to keep going, but there wasn't. You know, this bike just, what, temperature cage went off the clock and it's pulled in. And only Carl Fogarty stands between the Norton riders and their slot in the record books. That was uh, another couple of boxes ticked because um, McCallum, as I think I said to you, was, was one of our um, rated riders. Joey, not so much at that time. The other thing, of course, was I knew pretty well what they were riding and how they were going to perform whereas uh, they didn't know how ours were going to perform, which helped. That sort of thing helps to sort of settle the nerves a bit. And it's a lap record which a year ago never looked like being approached again unless the RVFs return. But we've already been within a couple of seconds of it and we haven't seen a full flying lap yet. This could be the fastest lap on record if the Norton doesn't seize and if the Yamaha gearbox holds up. Fogarty's away and over the mountain, pushing hard because he knows that the White Norton is reeling him in again and the lead from the pit stops had halved by the time he reached Ramsey and that the Norton will fly across the mountain. The bungalow, I remember now the bungalow, the second gear was a little bit low there. He was revving a bit going in, so I think maybe in the, in the senior, I went to third gear with a bit coming out, so I think, you know, but I just wanted to save the gearbox. Robert Dunlop, third on the timesheets, ahead on the road but the White Norton closing from behind. Fogarty at the crag, into circuit racing mode, scratching very fast across the mountain. The battle almost halfway over, but this one isn't as easy as the Formula One, and there's no sign here of that massive 40-second lead, and here's the reason why. The start of lap four as they pass the halfway mark, and Fogarty knows the Norton is close behind, despite the much faster Yamaha pit stop. Still coming down off the mountain, Steve Hislop, and because he's a couple of minutes behind on the road, nobody really knows how close it is. Following Nick Jeffries out of Bray Hill, Robert Dunlop is third, 30 seconds behind the battle for the lead. Fogarty is squirting past them, still flying on this lap, trying to maintain a lead. Here he is at Ramsey Hairpin, and the signboards now tell him that he is chasing the White Norton. Across the mountain, Fogarty gets his head down and starts to chase hard. 